Hey guys, how's it going? Something a little bit different today. Just gonna be a very quick and dirty video on a new tool that I found that really accompanies Notion really well. It's called Indify and it allows you to put custom plugins such as Google Calendar, uh, different quotes and a life progress bar directly into Notion. So in this video first, I'm just gonna explain a bit about it, show you how it works and then explain how I'm using each of these different widgets or plugins in my Notion databases. Getting set up on Indify is really simple. All you need to do is go into their website, which I'll link in the description below, put in your email address and they'll then send you a link with your account. Creating a widget is then really simple. For example, with Google Calendar, you just add a new Google Calendar widget, import your uh, Google account, and then they're gonna give you a link which you're then gonna paste into uh, Notion in the place where you want the calendar to appear. So now you've got an idea of how Indify works, I'm just gonna talk you through how I use it in my Notion workflow. And we'll start with Google Calendar. Now, how I use this is I actually embed my Google Calendar directly into my weekly plan, so that every Sunday when I sit down to plan out my week, I've just really easily got my different meetings or whatever it might be uh, accessible and at the front of my mind, so that when I'm planning out the other jobs that I want to do, I can fit them around that. Now, one of the major drawbacks about the plugin itself is that it only actually supports one calendar. So the way that I got around this is simply to put two in there. The only annoying thing about this is you can't as well let them um, be seen side by side uh, too easily. So I actually created two custom uh, drop-down boxes and put the widgets underneath the drop-down boxes, uh, which you'll be able to see here. The reason I put them in drop-down boxes is because when I'm just sort of going through my day, I don't necessarily want to always have that calendar like looking at me. I just want to be focused and see these are the tasks that I want to do. Um, so yeah, that's how I'm using the calendar feature here at the moment. A really good addition, I think, to my uh, weekly plan. So the next widget we're going to talk about is the life progress one. Now, call me uh, a sick fuck if you want, but I like to think about death quite a lot. And the reason for this is I just find it quite motivating to think, oh, you know, I've only got maybe like 50 more years to live. Shit, I need to get my act together and, uh, and do what I want to do, or I'm gonna come to my deathbed and regret a lot of things. So for me, the, the most um, sort of sensible position for me to put the life progress bar was in my daily journal. I complete my daily journal every morning. Um, I'll leave a, uh, a link in the description about how you can uh, set up a template like mine. But yeah, I find that just reflecting on how much life I've got uh, left to live uh, at the start of every day, I find it quite motivating. Obviously, this is probably not going to be everyone's cup of tea. It might be a, a little bit morbid. But yeah, I think a really, a really great plugin and uh, something that I'm going to continue to use uh, in the future. The next one that we have is weather. Now, when it comes to the weather, usually I'm just going to check on my phone. So at first, I struggled to see like why this would be valuable to have in uh, a Notion uh, doc. But then I thought about the travel plan that I'd made for an upcoming holiday uh, to Montenegro. And I have it in a board view where I can see the different days of the week and what I'm gonna be doing. And I just thought, what an ideal accompaniment to have the weather above that travel plan. So just a few days before the trip, I can look at what we've got planned in, in the week, see the weather and then readjust things. You know, if we plan to go kayaking, for example, on one of the days, and it's meant to be pissing it down with rain, I probably am not gonna to wanna to do that. So yeah, that's how I'm using weather at the moment. I know some people have like their home pages on Notion. I personally don't see the need for that. So I don't have uh, weather in there any place. But yeah, for my travel plan, I think weather is gonna be a really useful addition. So the final widget they have, which I haven't actually made use of is quotes. And how this works is they'll just sort of pull a daily quote from Instagram or wherever you select. And then you can have that appear in your Notion uh, workflow wherever you want. I personally find quotes just a little bit uh, corny, they're not really for me. Um, you know, if I'm reading a book and I, and I find a quote, I might highlight it and that's cool, but it's not something that I necessarily want to be reminded of every day, if that makes sense. But yeah, if you're the sort of person that likes quotes, maybe you could put this in your morning journal as well and it would make a nice addition. So thanks a lot for sticking around for that whistle stop tour of the Indify platform. I'm really excited to see where these kinds of tools go. Um, you know, if Indify added a load more widgets, it could become, you know, really, really quite a powerful tool to use. One interesting thought though is how this might work alongside a Notion API. 
The main drawback of the Indify widgets is that they only work one way. You basically generate the widget and from then on it's, it's not static because obviously it's getting updated from either Google Calendar or the life progress bar but it's not something you can interact with through Notion, if that makes sense. I can't go into Google Calendar and add an event or add a meeting. If Notion released a fully public um, API, then what that might allow is for companies like Google or others to fully integrate with Notion so that from the Notion system, you would have the power of, of Indify, which is these uh, sort of widgets directly embedded into Notion but also have the extra functionality of being able to take actions like scheduling meetings directly from Notion. So just gonna be interesting to see, um, see where this goes. I might make a full video on sort of where I'm seeing um, Notion strategy moving forward because as a, a product manager, this is a quite interesting topic for me. But yeah, thanks a lot for sticking around. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, check out my playlist that I'm gonna leave here. I've got a load more Notion guides. And I've also got general videos about living with simplicity and purpose in this very distracting world that we're in now. So if that's of interest to you, uh, check out my channel trailer or some of my other videos. And see you around. Thanks.